Good day everybody and welcome back to the channel. Heading back from the park. It is a muggy day. It is a buggy day. I think I got eaten alive. Pardon these ridiculous glasses. I'm wearing them because it's kind of hazy out. A little overcast and these glasses are better when it's overcast than regular sunglasses. Anyway, one of these idiots rolled in something foul and it stinks. It might just be wet dog. I have a feeling they rolled in something nasty. Anyway, one of them's getting a bath. I have to figure out which one it is. Maybe both. Maybe you both get a bath, you little buggers. Anyway, a uh, quick shout out to uh, Greg Wycliffe. He's at GD Dub on, uh, on the X slash Twitter. Uh, he is putting together a documentary, Safe Free Speech in Canada documentary, and it's being uh, crowdfunded on Indiegogo. So I'll put a link in the description on where you can go and support him in his efforts to bring this, uh, this free speech documentary to fruition. Um, and also, quick channel reminder, there is Ammunition tonight. Ammunition, I think it's 58, I want to say. Uh, tonight on this channel, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you all can make it. Uh, now, going back to GD Dub, going back to Greg Wycliffe, he hit a live stream the other night, um, and uh, it was about three hours long. And part of it, he was talking about uh, the Aristotelian definition of tyranny. And it was kind of interesting. I want to go back now and read some of the information, uh, or some of the thoughts by Aristotle on the notion of tyranny. So, um, one of the things Aristotle made a point of was that uh, tyrannies seldom um, arise from a foreign invader. So it's very seldom that you'll have a, a, someone, some leader invade a country and then install a tyranny. I think the reason for that is it probably doesn't work very well. People don't like their nation being invaded and I think they'll resist much longer when it's an invading force. Um, no, more, more often than not, tyrannies arise from uh, somebody local, a local person who, you know, passes them off as a statesman and passes themselves off as a statesman and promises all sorts of things like, uh, you know, bread and circuses, like, you know, we'll give you this free stuff, we'll make sure that you have this, blah, blah, blah. And then once you, um, once you oblige, once you give this, this person the power, that's when the tyrannical rule comes in. Um, I mean, and you can see this, you can see this in any of the communist states of the last century. This is what, this is what, uh, you know, tyrants did, basically. They spoke to the aggrieved in a way whereby they promised the aggrieved that they would, they would be the ones to prosper going forward, right? And, uh, and not only that, not only would they prosper, but, you know, just give up more of your money to the state and the state will provide for you. Um, one of the other hallmarks of tyranny is that the, tyr the tyranny, the, the system, uh, becomes transformed from a governmental body that uh, defines itself as providing for or uh, serving, I should say, the people and then simply becomes self-serving, right? It serves its own interests, it serves to expand itself, it serves to enrich its political elites, that's a tyranny. So, you know, by that definition, every Western country right now is functioning as a tyranny. All you have to do is look at the corruption in Canada with the, you know, the, uh, the traitors to the country, the ones who, you know, basically sold their country out for Chinese influence. I'm just realizing, if I had a goatee, I would look like John Goodman's character in The Big Lebowski right now with these glasses. And yes, that means I'm fat, but it's okay because I'm on a bulk. Anyway, back to the tyranny thing. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, basically, if you look at the current state of the West, with the exception of, you know, countries like Argentina, where they've, where they've installed basically, or not installed, they've elected a... Uh, a populist libertarian to their head of state. Um, every other country, the United States, Canada, you know, all the countries in Europe, 
they're functioning essentially as tyrannies. They're, they're, they're enriching themselves. Their heads of state enrich themselves, live the high life on the taxpayer dime, and uh, they oppress their citizens. They prevent their citizens from, from uh, pursuing their own interests. They, they put too many laws and restrictions in place that would prevent them from ever realizing any of their own dreams. That's what we're living in right now. That's what Canada is. That's what the United States is. I mean, you, you take a look at these career politicians who enter public service, you know, at, a, at the age of, you know, 30, 40, 50, making, you know, a five-figure salary. And then in, uh, you know, after 40 years, they, they become multimillionaires. They own multiple properties. They have giant mansions in several cities and they own, you know, the nicest cars and they're, they're richer than people in the private sector would be who'd worked in a, in a field for that long. Right? Um, politics, government is a racket. And everybody who's in it, uh, all they seek to do is enrich themselves, give themselves more power, enjoy the good life that uh, their office brings them. And uh, yeah, we're, we're essentially living in a functional tyranny at this point. Meanwhile, the citizens are restricted when there's a virus outbreak, they're restricted from speaking. Which brings me back to uh, Greg Wycliffe's uh, documentary. So this is all in relation to C63, the bill that's being uh, likely to pass in this government. Uh, the Online Harms Act, that's what they're calling it. Basically, it, it will allow the government to uh, charge you for hate speech, for saying you, you said something nasty about Group A, you're a member of Group B, therefore you have to go to jail. And not only that, the language of the bill will allow for them to look at your history before the law came into effect and predict how you're going to behave in the future and put you under house arrest, restrict your access to the internet. So if they look at your history and they say, hey, uh, you said this nasty thing five years ago about, you know, communists or whatever. Well, we don't like that. We think that's indicative of a uh, of an ongoing pattern or something that we can expect in the future. Therefore, you need to have your internet access restricted. We're going full-blown communist tyranny at this point. When, you, when the largest employer in Canada is the Canadian federal government, and when the majority of money you make, you earn, ends up going to the government in taxes, in one form or another, whether it be fees, whether it be sales taxes, whether it be income taxes, property taxes, what have you, when upwards of 50%, and in some cases more than 50%, depending on how much you make use of uh, government services, uh, goes toward taxes, how can, you, how can you not say you're living in a communist country? And when that communist country then says you can't say certain things, or you must say certain things, uh, how is that anything but a tyranny? And here's the thing, it's in Canada, it's in Europe, it's in the UK, you just have to look in the UK and see all these people who are being fined for things they put on Facebook, who are being locked up and taken to jail for things they put on Facebook or X or Instagram or whatever. And uh, they're, they're living in a tyranny. We're living in a tyranny. So I'm tired of the smooth brain saying, we're not in a tyranny, this is a democracy. We can vote these people out. Well, the problem is we could vote them out and we might vote them out if we're allowed to have an election. See, they, they, they grant themselves more and more power. And don't be surprised if there's something that happens uh, in the next six to eight months that uh, guarantees there won't be another election in Canada, at least not for the foreseeable future. I could very easily see that happening uh, because our, uh, our government has gone full-blown communist, full-blown tyranny, full-blown authoritarian. And if this Bill C-63 law passes, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to, you know, tell the wife we're leaving. We're getting out of this country because I'm not going to live in a dictatorship. I'm not going to live in a authoritarian country. I mean, it's already bad enough. I, I, I You know, not being able to speak my mind is a, is a bridge too far, you know? Like you, you've seen this channel. You see what I talk about. You've seen Ammunation live stream. I have no fear 
of speaking out, you stink. I have no fear of speaking out about things and saying, you know, truly regressive garbage uh, right now. But uh, if Phil C63 passes, my YouTube channel is gone. It'll be Oh, this stinky little bitch. She does this all the time. Anyway, we're back home now. I'll end it right here. Bye bye.